is Autobahn. And this plays one to four players and takes about 90 to 150 minutes to play. And this is an economic strategy game where players are building the German road system all the way from the World War II to the present day. And this game plays over three different eras spanning a few decades. And the first era will have various roadblocks in different locations as well as having the east of Germany completely blocked off. But then at the end of the second era, the Berlin Wall comes down and this will remove all the roadblocks and also grant players complete access to all the roads in Germany. So players will be building up a network of roads, joining cities and countries, and increasing the value of the cities for each connection that they add. Players can also upgrade the roads to also increase the value of those cities and also allow the traffic to move faster. Anytime that a player builds a road, they're going to be placing one of their employees in the corresponding construction office and then working to promote them. Because the way that players earn victory points in this game is by having the most prestigious seats in these different offices. Players can also complete route cards that have certain objectives that should be completed by the end of an era. And depending on how well you are able to do that, you will gain different benefits and additional promotions. Not only will players be building roads, but they can also build service stations to move trucks in and out of and earn money as well as bonus actions. As players are moving their trucks, they're going to be delivering different types of goods and each of the player's individual player boards will specify the types of goods that the surrounding countries are interested in and the different rewards that you get for delivering these goods to those different countries. Players will be taking turns and each turn has four phases. In the first phase, players can just claim a bonus from any deliveries that they made in a previous round. And then the second phase, they'll be able to take an action. They can either play a card to build or upgrade a road, load a truck, build a service station, unlock new technology, which is a permanent ability, and can possibly unlock more promotion possibilities. To play a card, players will choose one from their hand and then put it above these action spaces at the top of their player board. Each of these spaces has a limit of how many cards can go there, but this can be upgraded later in the game. Spaces at the top of your board represent the different actions you can perform, but then the color of the card represents the location that you can apply that action. Or instead of playing a card, you can choose to just refresh your hand and you'll be picking up all the cards that you've already played, gaining some money for each of those cards. Or instead of either of those, you can just claim funding and just get money directly. After that phase, we move into the truck phase, but only if you did play a card because you'll be able to move any trucks in the location matching the color of the card that you played. And the final phase is just the end of your turn and the only thing you have to do here is check if you've played all your cards and if you have you just pick them all up not getting any bonuses or any additional money for doing that. At the end of each era players will also get an equal amount of funding and then the player who triggered the end of the era will also get a free promotion. And this is where the players will also be checking their route cards and seeing which of the objectives they completed and earning the bonuses for each of those. The game continues like this until the end of the third era and then the player with the most victory points for earning the most prestigious seats in the different offices wins the game.